Hey, Sam, sinker fish. That has been the way to go to get fish, especially in the daytime. And you've got a new twist on it, or you're going to expose <laughs> us to a new twist. Yeah, not, not that my you, twist. Not that you came up with no, it. Yeah. A few customers came in here the last couple of days, and I know that there are a couple of guys that have been posting online about it. And I'm pretty sure um, we're not first to the, to, the, to the race here, but it's about fishing the sinker <clears throat> for this big tuna. Now, what we've been doing up to now is a rubber band. You basically are attaching a big sinker, this is a 12-ounce sinker, to your line without tying a knot and you're basically tying it above your your uh, your hook so after you got this all rigged up you are going to drop this in the water and you got to let down pretty slow if you go too fast as you're going down the bait is going to swing back up and a lot of times if you go too fast this will get wrapped around your main line here and mess up your bait and mess up your whole rig in fact even a lot of times you know it doesn't seem like you're going that fast and it'll still do it but um you know you'll this still works and and if you are going to use this you want to let it down slow so that your bait is being pulled away by the drift or current away from the sinker and away from your main line so you want to let it down real slow and to do that you're basically going to be thumbing the spool as it goes down so that it goes doesn't go down too fast so you want to get down to your zone get into the zone go real slow in fact like brian was talking the other day is once you do get down you want to go ahead and wind it back up real slow as slow as you go down slow as you go back up and that keeps the bait in better shape for one thing right yeah well you, if you bomb on down if you bomb on down well the biggest thing is that you're gonna um you're going to uh, uh get that line wrapped around your main line yeah. and then you're no good okay so that's probably the biggest thing but also too yeah you don't, you don't want to mess up your bait either yeah so this new thing here this is the new thing yeah yeah everybody should be doing it <laughs> so a couple of customers came in and were showing this to me and, and, and they saw it online, but it's basically like a drop shot rig, like something you would see in fresh water with a little twist. Yeah, know? it is exactly that, isn't and, it? And what they're doing, as you see here, we have a ring hook. And what you're doing is tying your main line to the ring of the hook. Looks like a San Diego knot, maybe? Yeah, San Diego knot there, mm -hmm. yeah, you use your own knot. And then you're tying another piece of line to the actual ring, and then that goes to your weight. Oh, okay. So now your weight is at the bottom. And why that makes a difference is that because you have everything in line and everything's tight. Nothing's uh, going to get tangled nothing's up. Nothing's going like, to get tangled up, yeah. right? Because your weight's at the bottom. Yeah. The other thing, too, is once, once the boat gets to the zone, <clears throat> they meter some fish, and they're 300 feet down. Or maybe they see fish from 100 feet to 300 feet down. Well, one of the things that happens is a lot of times is the fish that are down below are the bigger fish. Fish that are up shallower, typically, not all the time, are going to be the more medium-sized fish, like a still a good-sized fish, 50 to 60 pounds. And sometimes to get the bigger ones, that 150 pound plus, you got to get down below those. So when you go down real slow, it's going to be hard to do that because those medium-sized fish are going to pick off your bait. So with this, because everything's going to be staying in line, you can get through to those big fish a lot faster probably four or five times the speed as you would with the other guy. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. And also too, you can get down to those fish maybe before you're off the spot, you know, maybe with this other one that maybe it's a small little batch of fish, maybe 10 or 12 fish or something like that, a little, little spot of them. And you're only going to hook one. So probably the guy that gets down there first is going to be the one to hook that fish. So that's basically what it is. I'm not sure what we're calling it yet. It's kind of like a saltwater drop shot rig, whatever. Still a sinker rig with a little bit of a twist. And I said, those guys are, uh, this is something that the guys, the captains out of San Diego kind of came up with. And I, I think it's it's a good way to go. I got a trip coming up here in a week and a half. I'm definitely going to be doing it this way. Yeah, definitely. And so what what pound, are you using floral oh, yeah. or are you using, what so, are you using there? Yeah, on your leader side, I mean, it's depending on the fish size here. And we were, we were talking earlier with this big, um, big fish that we've been getting. Probably 100 pound minimum has been the deal. But obviously that can change. We were just talking about that, how it seems like it changes every day. Yeah. So Fish get is, finicky or you need yeah, heavier or whatever. Exactly. So this is going to be something to where you're going to be depending on the fish. If it was fishing two days ago with these guys getting busted off, I'd probably be fishing 100. One guy came in here as we were filming and he was telling me that, um, telling us that, that uh, he re saw reports of a few boats getting mostly medium sized fish. So maybe you might scale it back to like a 60 pound test. That will be a big part of the morning briefing. Yeah, Very good. exactly. Yeah. But on the sinker side, I don't think it really matters. I think 
I think what they're using is more like a 20 to 30 pound test. I've been telling the guys who use four pound, we use a bunch of stickers. <laughs> <laughs> but no, just kidding. That uh, I would say 25 pound would probably be fine. Yeah. Um, the first concern that some guys brought up is they were wondering if the sinker was going to pull the hook out of the fish's mouth. And I, I was thinking about that too. That might be a thing. But the one guy that was on the, on a trip where they were using it and having good success with it said that the guys that used heavier line, 30 or 40 pound test and didn't lose the sinker, didn't lose any fish either. But if you want to use something a little smaller just to kind of have that added benefit of not dealing with the sinker, especially when it gets to a heavier sinker, like a 16 ounce or something like that. Yeah, maybe you could use like some 12 pound or something light, but yeah, I don't even know if that would break really. Even 12 pound can be pretty strong, but, right. but yeah, something lighter would probably be, be okay on the sinker side. And hook size sinker, that's going to be determined by what's going on on the water. You're going to talk to your crew and yeah, talk to right? your crew. Yeah. I know that, um, you know, the, the, uh, size that's been most common the last couple of weeks in general has been a two O circle hook. But I know that the one guy that was telling us about the experience you had with those big fish, he said the two O's were getting straightened out. Once guys were going to 130 pound uh, leader, the two O was kind of getting overstressed. So they went to a four O super Mutu, which is the heavy duty four O circle hook. But I, I would say if you're going to go fishing right now, you want to take a one, you know, regular uh, gauge one O, two O, three O, and then take a heavy duty four O and five O. And, uh, you know, just go to your local taco shop. They'll tell you what the difference is between a regular and a heavy duty. And it sounds to me, and tell me if I, if you've heard the same thing, like 10 ounces sounds to be about yeah. where we're at right now, eight to 12, yeah. like in that range. Same difference, you know, it, it, talk to your crew, uh, see what, what's going on. Um, one of the things that uh, one of the guys was saying that maybe it might be a good idea too, is at the end here, instead of tying it, maybe put a small um, snap swivel. Yeah. So if you, if you, if you have on oh, four, that's a good idea. Yeah, four or six ounces, you get started and then all of a sudden the wind picks up and you're moving faster. Snap it, it off, snap, snap it on. on a new one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I think that that'll be something that would work too. So maybe a little snap swivel on the end. Sam, that's a great tip. I think it's going to help to catch a lot more fish. Thank you so much. You got it.